Once, there was the Chicago Toy Soldier Show, the premier event in the hobby. For decades, it offered days of room sales and a Sunday show of all types of toy soldiers, military miniatures and models, civilian figures, scenery, and much more. Then, in the early days of 2022, it was canceled, and it seemed all was lost. But then, out of nowhere, a hero arrived to keep the show going. His name was... My name is Matt Murphy, and my company's called Hobby Bunker Incorporated. We get to know Matt, his company, and hear all about the upcoming, all-new Chicagoland Toy Soldier Show today on Collector Guys. Collector Guys. Tell us a little bit about what Hobby Bunker, what what uh, what products you guys sell. We sell toy soldiers, obviously. We come to toy soldier shows. We do um, sell them on our website, but we're a little bit different than most of the other places where we actually also are just like a general hobby shop, and we also have like sell games, and so we're pretty diverse. We sell metal plastic, you know, new and old, and just about everything. So I think since we're so diverse with model kits, you know, hobby supplies and you know, everything we sell, we've been able to stay alive for 25 years, you know. Yeah, so. not, not easy to do. No. Not no. easy to do. So, um, so the, the biggest show in the world has always been the Chicago Toy Soldier Show. It's been around for decades, different, couple different ownership groups. They announced that they were not going to do a show in 2023 for various reasons. You stepped forward and said, I'd like to continue on the tradition. I'd like to start running the show. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, let's rewind a little bit. Sure. Bit, like, you know, talking to like Roger Garfield over the years and even before him, Don Peelan, I think at the time when Roger bought it, I think Don was kind of like, if Roger doesn't buy this, you're going to run it. I'm like, what? You know, so, and then, you know, fast forward, I guess, you know, I t was talking to Roger at the show last year about maybe me buying the show. He, you know, he was looking to retire you know his wife and i uh jan had a you know great time running it but they're like we're tired and we want to actually just we want to sell our toys and have fun too so um so we we kind of talked for a couple months and then we even talked um in january february when he's like trying to negotiate with the hyatt which just didn't want to play ball so uh basically negotiations broke down he had enough and I didn't know he was going to cancel the show. We were, you know, it went from, I talked to him on a Monday and then the next Monday the show's canceled. So then I had multiple calls from like that Monday from Ron Barzo, uh, Joe Sane, Steve Connell, and a few of these guys that run shows or been in the business for 20, 30 years. And they're like, you got to run a show. And I'm like, like, I have to run a show and then I'm like do you want to help me run a show and they're like no we'll help you get it going though so like uh, actually Joe Sane helped like reach out to a few places and I had some other like local guys looking around and then the Marriott originally they, they didn't get back to me for a few weeks so I almost booked a show but before all this happened I, I talked to Roger and I said Roger people want a show like do I have your blessing? And he said, Matt, we're never going to run a show again. Go for it. So I, you know, with his blessing and then that, then I started to pursue like a venue and then the Mary called me back, you know, cause I, you know, I reached out to some other hotels. No, uh, at, it's kind of short notice. So a lot of places are already booked. Yeah. So to have a show, it was either at the King County or like nothing at that point. And then the Mary called, apparently Roger had already, talk to them and uh, so they kind of knew knew the gist of what what we needed In the meantime Roger and I talked about okay he doesn't want to sell this company he doesn't want to do this he doesn't want to do that but he's willing to work with me to sell some of the assets so I acquired like his mail list his uh, dealer database the website Facebook page so you know nice. didn't have to start from scratch but right, right. pretty close you know like, right so. and you uh, you changed the name slightly Slightly, yeah, because the, his, the name was also like his business. So it was like a, you know, right. CTSS Inc. So like Chicago Land. So we now call the show Chicago Land Toy Soldier Show, which we can still use his old sign, CTSS. It's the same thing. And, you know, I, I mean, I've been going out there for over 20 years and everybody's going to call it the Chicago Show. Yeah, like there's absolutely. No, no one's going to call it Chicago Land, probably. No one's going to call it 
CTSS. It is what it is. You it know, is. So, yeah. But. So tell us what. Tell us about the show for this year. Uh, what, what do you have planned? How do you see it laying out? Room sales, all that kind of good stuff. We have. With, uh, we got the, like the same rate. I think that we had at the Hyatt last year. Um, we're gonna have room trading. We're gonna. This hotel is more of a tower, so I think we're gonna have four or five or six floors. You know, so hopefully guys will head up to the fourth floor, do a loop, go up to the fifth floor. <laughs> right. You know, the guys who want to take the elevator can take the elevator. Guys that want to take the stairs. You know, so it's it'll be actually more compact, I think, and easier to navigate and find people. Um, and then. The hotel itself is smaller. You know, there's a restaurant, bar, and everything. So we'll have, we're definitely going to have better service than we did at the Hyatt the last couple of years. Um, and the show is going to be similar: um, ballroom, hallway, but instead of a basement, we basically have like a, like a tent, but it's heated, air conditioned, and nice. it's going to actually be like a, at least a third of the tables are going to be out there. Okay. That's, that's all the space they can offer us. Right. They have some other meeting rooms, but they were already booked. So. Um, and it's Sunday only still? Yeah, same format, same thing, five minutes away down the road. So same right. weekend. Um, so. so I know when the first show, or the original show was canceled, there was a lot of disappointment because I actually happened to attend a show right when kind of the word was getting out. Uh, but since then, it seems like there's been a ton of excitement to hear right. that's coming back. What what kind of responses you have you gotten? I'm getting that? great responses. Like guys call me, thank you. You know, you made my <laughs> my year because some of these guys. I mean, you know, I mean me too. It's like we look forward to it every year. Like that's your, it's in the book. Like that's right. my week's vacation or my, whatever. You know, I'm leaving my family behind. I'm gonna go play with my toys. You know, right. but uh, right. so yeah, a lot of guys just really appreciate that I'm having it and doing it, you know, and then I, so, you know, it's been a lot of work. Um, the Garfields are going to also, part of the transition is like good, they're going to extend me goodwill and, and help me at this show, whatever nice. I need, you right. know. Nice. And then whatever I have a question with, they're there for me. But I mean, I've been there for, I mean, as Hobby Bunker, I think 25 years and then I went, once or twice in the 90s with my dad when I was like in high school. So I'm like, I, right. I know most of the guys. I've been there so many times. It's, it's, it's gonna almost run itself, I think. You know what I mean? Right, Hopefully. right. <laughs> so if somebody that's never been to a show, if they're interested in military miniatures, toy soldiers, scenery, books, et cetera, why, why is it worth someone's time to come to Chicago to go to the show? I think it's because there's, you're never going to see more of any of it anywhere else, rightly like said, in the world. Like, you're going to have new stuff, old stuff, you know, super, super high-end toy soldiers and boxes of 10-cent uh, soldiers on the floor you can dig through. So there's, so I think, stuff there for kids, you know, adults, um, guys that collect play sets, guys that collect, you know, the newer, like, Matt, you know, Britain's King Country and all that. So, I mean... And then it's hard to find stuff you'll find there, you know. So there's always guys selling collections and, you know, you'll see stuff that you've ne never seen before. I haven't seen, uh, you know, anywhere in 20 years, you know. Right. So it's always okay. good deals, you know, buying, right. selling, trading, you know. You get to meet fellow collectors and make new friends and talk about the stuff. Like, you know, most of us sit at home, play with our toys in our basement or wherever our little room is. and. That's it. Like your neighbors probably come and say, oh, that's cool. And they're not interested there. Right. You can, I guess you're among your people and your peers and you can talk about little green army men all night long <laughs> over a beer. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so come so, on out. Yeah. Come on out and socialize, you know, and have fun. Now there has been a bunch of activity around the show since we talked to Matt. So here is an update. The show is at a new location, the Schomburg Marriott on Sunday, September 24th from 10 in the morning to three in the afternoon. Admission is $10, kids 12 and under are free. The hotel rooms are all sold out for Saturday and Sunday night, but that's a very good sign. Matt has over 100 dealers selling at the show on Sunday. These include dealers from across the USA, Canada, Belgium, France, and the UK. So who's going to be there? The list includes W. Britton, LOD, Hobby Bunker, Tree Frog, BMC, Ted Toy, Michigan Toy Soldier, Sean's Closet, Sierra Toy Soldier, and many more. And they're doing room trading leading up to the show. So on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, you can come by the hotel and buy, trade, or just look at the products in the dealer's rooms. 
There is absolutely nothing like going to a show for a hobby you are interested in. You see items that you didn't know existed, meet nice people with your same interests, get to know the latest items from current makers, and pick up cool stuff for your collection. So, the former Chicago Toy Soldier Show is now Chicagoland Toy Soldier Show on September 24th. What was old is new again. Get down there and support a great hobby. And if you want to see a video about the old show, which the new one will be very similar to, check out this video. Thanks for watching Collector Guys, and remember, surround yourself with the things you love.